All right, what it do, YouTube? Hope you're already in happy mode. And talk about some more Jesus Christ. Because it's very needed in this world. Today's video is going to be about demonic strongholds. Demonic strongholds. And before I even continue with that, I just want to say shalom. Peace and blessings to everyone on this happy Wednesday. I hope every day happy from, for you from now on. And let's get straight into it. So look, the demonic strongholds, what are those? You feel me? What are those? Demonic strongholds is what's keeping you in your sin. Over your mind. That's the, the demons got your mind. What do I mean by that? Your body, your mind is corrupted. You love you, you, you enjoying sin. Like you love the way you live your life. Regardless of if it's addiction. Or if it's a crime or a murder or anything, you enjoy it. That's what a demonic stronghold is. How do you get rid of demonic strongholds? You got to pray. You got to repent. You got to acknowledge that you are being hunted. You got to acknowledge that the devil has you. Trust me, I was, I was in demonic strongholds. Strong. It comes with a lot of factors. It comes with a lot of evil. Now, the thing about demonic strongholds, though, right, if you look around and you see people, okay, you know how you see somebody acting. Now, TikTok is one of the main things you can see when people are very messed up, you know, when it comes, like, it's always some type of video with somebody on there fighting or somebody on there cheating. And that's the thing. Everybody that enjoys cheating and fornicating definitely got a demonic stronghold over them. Definitely. How are you so comfortable cheating on the person that you just say you love? And then when you get caught, so this is what the demonic stronghold does to you. So, for example, like I just said, fornication. Once, and then fornication also comes with soul ties. I bet y'all didn't know that. Every time you have intercourse with that boy or girl, you, def you definitely bring over everything they went through and the demons they got. And you bring them into their life. And then you're doing a soul tie with them, which means y'all connected now. Which means why you always see when a girl, when you're talking to a girl and she's like, she basically. OK, yeah, for example, when a man talking to a, a brand new girl and she basically like she not going for anything that you're saying and telling her she don't believe it. She think it's lies. She don't trust you. But once you but once you have intercourse with her. Oh, now she in love with you. That's a soul tie. You unlocked her. And you unlocked the demons that came with her. Or you, and she unlocked the demons that came with him. You unlocked her. And that's what people don't be understanding. Because you always see how they be like, I'm finna ghost this person or I'm finna ghost that person. But it'd be so hard for them to do that, actually to succeed on that point and a person be stuck on them once they but they be like, okay, at first you wouldn't even try to let me crack and all this and that. But it don't work like that. You doing you going through a soul tight and you don't even know it. But another thing is when it comes to fornicating, you got to be careful. That is one of the biggest demonic strongholds that they got on us right now. They trying to get you to a Enjoy having sex with all these other people. They want to. They want. They want to stop the population. They want to give you STDs. It's all demonic work. Another example of demonic stronghold is, a, like I said, addictions. Whether you better in smoking, drinking, and don't get me wrong, it, it says nothing in the Bible about, you know. Um, drinking is wrong, but it's the part of the gluttony, the greediness of drinking, the addiction. You abusing it. You can drink in moderation, but it says thou should not get drunk. You should not alter your mind to the point because that you are letting the devil in into your head. You always see when you get drunk. Oh, now you ready to have sex? Now you ready to fight? For no reason. All because you're drunk, you out of your body. Your mind is completely taking over. You feel me? 
Another example of demonic strongholds is when you see somebody like, okay, say example when you just see somebody always angry, going through emotional defects, depression, and all this, that's a demonic stronghold. You get to wake up every day, you get to see your family. You could, no matter what you're going through, if it's bills or if it's something you got to go through, you should always be waking up happy and blessed that you get another chance at life. You get to fix it. It's a demonic stronghold. And that's what I've been trying to tell people out here, you know. Because I was battling with it with myself. And every time I went back to smoking... I was unable to fast. I'm like, okay, I can do this. I'm always, I, it always trick you. It literally tricks you to think you can do better on your own. You cannot do better on your own without Jesus Christ. Out here. That's the one thing. That's one thing you got to know. You cannot do better on your own without Jesus Christ out here. It always was tricking me because I'm like, I'm going to fast. But I, then when I smoke, I'm always eating. And that's the thing about smoking. God said, do not alter your mind. Luke 10, Luke chapter 10, verse 27, which is one of my favorite verses of all time. Love God with all your mind, body, soul. Do not alter your mind at all costs. You don't understand what that does to you. If you, gotta, if you alter your mind, you stray away from God. Now, people who stray away from God do the lack of knowledge. And due to the way they live their lifestyle. People believe in God due to the way they live their lifestyle. And that comes with a lot. You cannot play with that. Even if you have no knowledge of God, you still have to try to be a good person out here. God's book is in every household, regardless if, if that person is an atheist. If that person don't like God, God literally is everywhere. But it's all the ignorance in our body. We literally are living in our flesh. But we can we can separate spiritual warfare. It goes on in your mind. We can separate our mind from our body to discipline ourselves. But the bots that's living around the world, they living as one. They letting their body take over their mind. They letting their soul be corrupted. For what though? And you always see. Another thing about the fornicating, all these fornicators, they can't find love. They don't feel love. How could they feel love if the only thing they have for their intimate partner, they already gave it away? So how, how is he supposed to find love through money? Do cars, do females, do boys? Through man, how is she supposed to find love? And that's the main point of this. Demonic strongholds. Everything that we've been taught is putting a demonic stronghold on our head. That's why you see so many people so ignorant out here today. They rather ignore what you got to say to them and believe in themselves. That's the main demonic stronghold the devil out on us. Is that we could believe in ourselves. But the Bible clearly tells us that the heart is deceitful above all things. Your heart will trick you. Your own flesh will trick you. Your own flesh. Ain't that crazy? The Bible tells you you can't trust yourself. Ain't that crazy? And, but the devil over here flipping the whole. He, see what the devil will do? He'll mix a little bit of truth and a lot of bit of a lie. You feel me? A lot of a lie. And mix it with a little bit of truth. And that's, and that's very easy to do that when you already know the Bible in the back of your head. The devil been on this earth longer than anybody has been in this world. I'm finna whoop your butt. Don't, don't want that water. You crazy? You gonna be sick? Look, but like I was saying, it's really crazy out here. The devil been on this earth longer than anybody can ever tell. He tricking everybody into atheists, into thinking they, um, they he got them confused on what type of human being they are. 
when it's only two type of genders and now it's it's more than two genders what other gender are there if there's no animal first of all look at the animals look at the plants look at life everything is female and male and the devil got the devil got the human race under his control right now demonic strongholds every time i saw this one post on instagram used to follow this one dude that made a whole, of meme, a whole bunch of memes. It was so funny. But it was this one meme who like, you sitting up at three in the morning and now all, you, all of a sudden you got the urge to masturbate. Demonic. What, what, where's the urge coming from? Every time, you see the devil already planted that seed. He always tried to. I told you our last video on Instagram. I always, as soon as I log in, I, pr I say anything. It's always a bot liking my post. And it's a half naked girl on there. The devil always plant them seeds. He plant them seeds real slowly. So once you fade into it, it's over for you. You you just like, oh, forget it then. I'm finna just let I'm finna just go ahead, be my me. Oh, forget it then. I'm finna just go ahead and hit up oh girl. Let me see if I can get some cheats. It don't work like that, bro. It gotta stop working like that, bro. The devil is consuming everybody out here. He had me. That's what I'm telling you right now. He had me. I want to be free. And once you become free, watch how the demonic strongholds finna try to come back 10 times harder. You got to be ready because it's a spiritual warfare out here. I'm telling y'all. You know? Everything I've been doing, I've just been trying to do for God. I can't keep living out here like I ain't want to, like I don't want to be in my own body. I felt before I was saved. To be honest, I felt so soulless. I felt super soulless. I didn't know where I was headed in life. And I was doing so good. But when I was doing so good, I was living so evil. And But now I'm going to do better than good. I'm going to do great now that I'm trying to live my life better. I'm going to do great. I'm going to do better than good. I'm going to do great. I'm going to do excellent. Because I want to... You got to show God... Father Yahweh, you want this. It's real out here. So then, look, I gotta become more organized with my videos. I'm gonna start posting scriptures as I speak. Um, I'm gonna start going over plenty of Bible verses. You know, I gotta drop a Bible study on Discord and stuff like that. I gotta go crazy. You know, I gotta go get more organized so y'all can actually see what I'm talking about. And I can show y'all from experience and from how y'all live in y'all life. You can talk to me and I will show you. It's the demonic strongholds. But once you free, watch what happened. Watch when you start praying to God. Watch when you start fasting. Watch when you start trying to live good. Watch where all your friends go. Watch where all your family go. Watch how the enemy sneak into your household. Do anything to get you down. And it's easy too. Because best believe when it was happening to me, I wanted to go back. I wanted to go back. I'm like, no, nah, this is too much. I don't know what's going on. I wanted to go back. But I can't go back now. I see what the truth is. And I ain't finna be consumed now. Because if I do that, then now, now I'm willingly... I'm willingly letting myself be consumed by the devil and I can't do that. I was asleep in the matrix. I woke up. It's time for y'all to wake up too, man. But like I said, Shalom, we can go ahead and get back in the house. It's raining out here. iPad wet because I had to record. I couldn't record on my phone. And that's that. But like I said, Shalom. Hope everybody having a good Wednesday. And when I'm going to hit y'all back on the next video. Peace.